everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I'm back with another haul video. I was able to go to Dollar Tree again. Um, we had to take our dog to the groomers. And so while we were waiting, my husband brought me to the Dollar Tree. So um, I, do, I did find um, a few things. So I was there mainly for storage. So I'll show you that at the end. Um, I found some of these. I've been wanting to uh, just paint them actually. Um, and these are their candlesticks and their um, ceramic and I just like the shape of them um, it would have been better if they were wood but I'm gonna go ahead and paint them with chalk paint and see if I can make it look shabby find this sign it says smile and I just love how thick it is so it's a table top sign so can't wait to paint that or maybe even just um, Mod Podge some paper or napkins on that. I think that will be really nice. I also found this one that says hello. And then there's another one that says happy, um, but I just didn't really like the way it stood on the counter on the table. So I didn't get that one, but there was another one that says happy. So I thought these were really great because they're super thick and good quality. I decided to get this uh, wood palette and um, I did pick this one up and this is just an easel you, like do a little sign or something um, but it is a chalk board so always nice to have you can put it on your tiered tray get to this one right here to DIY when the time comes so I just wanted to have this in my stash and then I got this one and this one stands up so I kind of like that so we'll see what I do with this one I did get these laser cut craft words um, I have seen them before but I just never picked them up and I decided you know what I better just pick them up before they're gone um, this one says friend so these are always great to use for happy mail and then this one says magic for those fun magical um, projects. So got this because I needed another sponge dauber for painting for you know yeah for painting. And I got this one right here also for painting. And I finally found this bee tray. I was looking for it the last couple of times I was at the Dollar Tree and I never found it. So um, or they were out maybe. So. I like, I'm going to try this one because it's nice and small. The last couple of things that I got were these craft storage and I do like this pink and they had them in other colors like blue and something else but this was the only color that I liked so I did pick up a couple of those. I got this one in the, um, I think I got it in the frames area I can't remember but I thought it would be cute to DIY or to or not even DIY I, I'm thinking I might use it for a you know a nautical theme project or display yeah for my nautical display um, summertime so I did get that one and then, oops, um, in the Crafter Square section also, I found these stickers. I think they're so pretty. So um, I can't remember if someone gifted me one of these, but I just like it. It's so pretty. So I, especially these right here <laughs> and the camera, so cute. So I did get that. There was a whole bunch of other stickers, but I did find some stamps and I haven't been stamping much either, but for a dollar, I couldn't resist these. And who knows if these will come in handy, but look how cute. They're just so cute. And I did see a couple of dies, but I didn't pick them up because they were like just um, small little dies. Like there's a heart one and then, you know, and I have other heart dies already. And then there was a something else. There was another, I don't know if it was maybe a flower or butterfly or something. Um, and I figured, you know, I already have dies like that. Um, I thought this one was super cute. Look at the llama, especially that 
funny one right there. It's so goofy, but I, I really love this one right here and the banner. And um, I just thought it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. And then um, I thought this one was super cute too. So, and then that's all I got um, in that section. Um, in the rural garden section, I found the nautical rope and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it would come in handy for, you know, a summer project. So I went ahead and just got it because I got the, this garland. I'm thinking I might use this for my topiary. Um, I might have to remove some of the leaves though because they're so big. I wish they had teeny tiny ones like, I don't know, like grapevine leaves. Or are these grapevine leaves? I don't know, but they're quite big. I did grab um, some more of these because I did go through quite a bit of these. Um, and I just thought, you know, just in case they stop selling them, um, I do like the colors of that bead set got this one right here um i keep seeing it and i hadn't picked it up and i'm thinking you know it's so cute though i really wish it came in pink but this was the only gingham i do like the gingham top um they had it in plain blue and then this gingham and um i just really like this one so i got just that one and in another area close to there or to the garden area they had this one and i thought it was super cute and i think i'll maybe put it in the um, downstairs bathroom and then i really like this i thought it was so cute the laundry room wash dry and fold i love it and um so i thought maybe i'd put that in my laundry room I did get, I needed some essentials like these. Um, I love these kind of um, uh, hangers because they're the non-slip kind. And um, I usually get mine online, but I saw them there and they're two per pack. So I went ahead and got it. So hopefully I'm saving by getting it there. We'll see. I needed some scrunchies and I like these plain black ones. My daughter and I are always looking for scrunchies. I don't know what we do with our scrunchies, <laughs> but I went ahead and got some more. And um, I also got these collapsible storage. And here are the dimensions. Now I did get some similar to this from Daiso, but they were $5 each. Um, these might be about the same size without the lid and i think these are more flimsy though but for a dollar i was gonna give it a try to do some organizing in my closet i was looking for other storage but i honestly didn't have any at the my dollar tree so i'm still looking for some baskets not baskets but those yeah baskets i guess or those um locker bin unicorn ribbon i thought it was so cute look they're um little rainbows so i thought that was cute um i found this too and i just thought it was really cute that it had a little um pom-pom and i can use them separately i can remove it but it's also nice to stick it in your bag um because then you can find it easily because it has it's attached to the pom-pom so i just thought it was so cute so i went ahead and got that found these cute little unicorn pouch look how adorable these are and looks pretty roomy in there and it is a cosmetic bag so i did grab a couple of those i just thought they were so adorable and then i found one that has a llama look how cute i just thought it was super adorable and has a pink zipper on this one and then the last pouch that i got is this one and i thought it was so cute it says eye candy <laughs> i really like it so um these are always fun 
to use or give away. And then I found these key covers, um, but I'm thinking I don't even need to use it as a key cover. You can kind of use it as dangles. And I just thought the watermelon was so cute. And then this was the first one I found actually that I thought was so adorable. And then um, I found this one too. And you get two each. So, and the last few things I got were these notebooks. Even though I haven't done a TN in a really long time, I just thought it was so cute. And I love the, you know, the um, unicorn. And they're popped up on foam. I think it's foam. And then I found this one. I thought that was cute. And there's this one for summertime. And then lastly, I got this one. It's so cute. And this is, what size is this, you guys? It's probably, it's a five by seven. So it's a really good size. And I think that is it for my Dollar Tree finds. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.